Yesterday, on the occasion of Kartik Pournami, a group of ladies were discussing about fasting and grinding work which they need to do at their homes. I was just passing by them and just overheard this. I was remembering my childhood days. We used to stand in a queue for a dal machine, dal mill machine for grounding whole grains into the floor. Today, the wet grinders are part of every house. Then of course my curiosity went into who invented this product. Of course there are so many patents against this invention but predominantly we need to name P Sabapati from Coimbatore who invented this in 1955 as his wedding gift to his wife. He then invented 34 different models of the same wet grinder. Later of course our Dorai Swami introduced the tilting wet grinder. This did away uh, with the need to lift the heavy stone as women had to do earlier. Finally, LG Vardaraj came into this LG Ultra, the country's first tabletop grinder. Today, more than 200 manufacturers in and around the city Coimbatore manufacture these wet grinders. The Coimbatore wet grinder is now a geographical indication for wet grinders manufactured in both Coimbatore and Erode districts. You all must be knowing what exactly is the geographical indication. It is a significance given to a particular place because it's a kind of uh, the product originated from that particular area. Of the nearly 1 lakh wet grinders uh, wet grinders manufactured in India every month probably around 75000 are actually produced from Coimbatore alone having geographical indicator no one else in the world can actually get a patent right for the grinders as grinder belongs to Coimbatore like uh, how Tirupati ladoo is belongs to Tirupati right uh, similarly i think grinder is got into the point Coimbatore arena how do we develop a culture of innovation in your location and become influencer like mr sabapati think big and solve simple problems maybe you can build gi tag to your location i'm sure i think you can make this happy thinking now onwards abhi sarpalli